Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory. This is Shang in the building, waiting for Black Pedro. You know what? I need you to tell your friends, 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 friends to jump on when we jump on. I need you to tell as many people as possible to jump on. You know how we do this, 6 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Savage AF. What's up, hello? Sexy Puerto Rican, uh, underscore Puerto, Puerto underscore Rican. Uh, there goes Pedro, uh, where's Pedro? He just joined. I'm gonna uh, drop him on. We got some shit to talk about. It, it just, every day just gets weirder. Crazier and crazy. What up though? Siba, 313. This, we got to talk about some shit today. It's, it, it's just, it just, it keeps getting weirder. It keeps getting weirder. And there's Black Pedro, yeah. Uh, on a day so sad, yeah, it is. It it just keeps getting weirder. It keeps the the world keeps getting weirder. Um, shout out, rest in peace to my man Reek. Reek speaks on on IG. Uh, recently passed on. Uh, definitely shout out to his family. Condolences. Hope that you guys can hang in there. And Savage AF, you know what I'm saying? We trying to uh, to go to go Emeralds World. Uh, yo, we trying to. Make sure that we keep it, you know, informative, but goddamn. So I'm going to uh, post this stuff on. Pedro will let you know uh, about the information. But today was a, yeah, a, 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 a yeah it's, it's getting worse. Yeah, we're going we gonna, to we gonna let you know about a lot of fucking information today, guys. We're going to talk about motherfucking information today. Eves underscore Apple 7916, welcome to the building. We are Savage AF. We're here on IG Live. Monday through Friday, man, because we're dedicated to this shit. Mondays and Fridays, we're on at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we are on at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. You can follow us wherever you get your podcast. If you miss us live on IG right now during this time of pandemic, that's iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Slacker Stitcher, iHeartRadio. SoundCloud, Spotify, uh, and we are also available on YouTube, guys, now. So if you want to see us and hear us at the same time, but you miss us live, and I'm sorry, man, I'm so heavy right now today, uh, you, you can catch us on YouTube at SavageA.F. That's what it is, Savage AF on YouTube. Right. Put the, put the periods between the A and the F and shit. Um, but that's what we're doing, dog. We here. We savage. AF. Yeah, it, it's a heavy day, Pedro. Yeah, it's, it's been it's a, a, be a, a very, very today. heavy day. Today, about very heavy real. day, uh, because we, uh, we usually we, uh, fuck around and it. keep it light on this show. On this show, we usually to a, well, to a, don't get to too a point. heavy. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, we usually point. don't talk about deep shit at all. But today, El Noob, welcome to the building. Boop, nineteen twenty-eight. Up, we see you. Um, and. Um, just, just uh, aside from the line, line run up, we're gonna uh, talk about just re just now on the news, a uh, police officer was shot, uh, yeah. and uh, and so it'll be, that it'll, be it'll make it even more. Yeah, it'll make it an even a little bit more. Uh, Three sixty five uh, Q, Mister Twelve. We see you, Breezy JJs. I see y'all. All right, so let's hit him with the daily run up and get into it, man, and just spend as much time because like there's so much to talk about. Um, Man. Savage AF, September 23rd, 2020. Stop fucking around and join the coalition. That's how we're going to join in the show tonight. Uh, the Minnesota Freedom Fighters, a group we're going we're gonna to talk about and just the concept in general. But before we get into that, uh, I'm going to tell you to swing away. As uh, a few uh, key swing states have changed their election laws uh, in real time. Uh, to reflect this pandemic and allow uh, more time to count mail-in ballots. Going to be key. But before we talk about that, we're going to talk about Burks Don't Works. <laughs> and that's your girl. <laughs> I know you love her so much, Dr. Burks. She's feeling some kind of way about not beating. beating she, uh, she about to bounce. We're going to talk lead, about her, yeah. her possibly her, going, got, enough of this shit. I'm telling the truth. You can't fire me. I quit. Yeah. Uh, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about uh, the other doctor, uh, Fauci, 
versus uh, Rand Paul. Uh, and basically, Fauci, you know, did, did a pimp backhand and was like, suck my dick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he definitely you was know, like... In, in, as, as, in his style. That's our In his style. It, there was a, who the fuck you talking to? But that's what I heard. And then he's like, uh, let me finish, bitch. I don't know if he said bitch, but I heard it in my head. There. So uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk about that. But, but uh, you know, the, the main the main story today, we already know what it is. Um, yeah, and, and you know, September 23rd, 2020, uh, follow at Comedian Shang at Black Pedro. Follow at Black about. Pedro. And also follow Eve underscore um, Apple 7916. She's our... Uh, resident queen in charge and helps us out immensely she is the, the shit side. and we appreciate it. we appreciate her immensely also make sure you check out the website before we get into it down there i am shang.com backslash merch buy a tea or a mask but also we really do need you to subscribe to the uh, the youtube, YouTube channel, channel. Yeah. the youtube get channel on. so we really Savage want to get down with that dot f dot y'all look it up yeah um all right so here's the thing man brianna Taylor, and yeah. this is this is going to be a, a highly sensitive and emotional conversation because I know I told us a while ago here here in our community on Savage AF that uh, we we're not going to get the justice that we want for it, right? Like I I, I I'm honestly surprised they brought charges against uh, you know the one officer that they did. Um, and and by the way, they basically just said like a, a, some drywall that that he shot through and the glass windows and stuff uh, is more valuable than Breonna Taylor's life. But that being said, man, um, the way the system is set up, according to the law, I'm going to say this very carefully so that y'all understand me. According to the law, we need to always understand that they were going to be so this, the, the, what the attorney general said uh, of the state of Kentucky, black man, so he self-labeled him. Well, that, <laughs> uh, well that's I, up we, we, can, we can question that, but I'm definitely, I'm, I'm putting him up even before the year is over, be, even before we get to the end, I'm putting him up for coon of the year. Um, that's pretty bad. Herschel Walker, I don't know. That's a tight no, no, race. No, 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 no. This is, it's a tight this race, is, but I, 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 you're right. I, I think he edged him out by uh, uh, at least at least 15, 20 yards. Herschel Walker at least 20 yards. is a joke at this point, but both of them spoke at the RNC. So this is a Republican, black man, attorney general of a state, of the state of Kentucky, Senator Bitch McConnell state. Spoke at the RNC, obviously on behalf of, of Trumpy Dumpty, um, who tried to put everything on the grand jury and tried to make it just be about, well, this is the evidence we presented them, and this is what they came up with, which, by the way, is um, wanton mis conduct or whatever like it, it, it's just like a wanton disregard um uh, charge for the one officer who's already been fired but uh mattingly and uh what's the shooter's name the one who actually killed her uh, sorry i'm gonna pull it up but they um they they they, they, they uh, according to the attorney general's words according to the laws in kentucky they were justified in shooting back after, according to them, uh, you know, and, and, and honestly, Kenneth Walker, they, they shot first, or he shot first, and he shot low, hit an officer in the leg, Mattingly, sergeant, the right. sergeant, and, and they shot back with over 30 bullets. Uh, the one who's being convicted is, uh, he shot through blindly through you know play glass windows he shot into other apartments but he's being charged for the potential for almost being possibly able to kill people in the other apartments through the walls that he shot through none of this right none of the Man, conviction it's... today has anything to do with the actual death of brianna taylor i'll hand it to you and then i'll i'll, I'll come back with 
I guess the the things we can hope for. But holler. Well, at uh, well, one it was there was no trial, which is some bullshit. Everybody knows that, that that's Grand some bullshit. Jury is some bullshit. Been, it should have been a trial. The fact that they just said, "Well, I just say it's dropped," and that's basically what happened. And the fact that he is, uh, a, even though he's a he is contastic, he is Daniel a staunch. Cameron. Or uh, let's call him Dan Daniel Coonrin. Coonrin. Yes, Daniel Coonrin. Coonrin. <laughs> he 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 just you know he was obviously a staunch Trump supporter. You could see it in his demeanor and seeing the things that he was way he was saying it. Um, the fact that there was people that actually uh, applauded him for this was bullshit. Uh, Breonna Taylor's life mattered. She was not. She didn't have a gun. She was in her own home. It's like we can't even do shit. We can't. We can't eat ice cream in our house. We can't fucking just be sleep in our bed. Can't sleep. We can't go jogging. We can't protect we can't, your home. You can't, yeah, you, you can't, you know, and it, it goes against, you know, so, the, the law that basically says your home is your castle. All right, so, so it's it, just it, right now, everybody out there, make sure that you don't take your foot off the pedal, but also don't di di get distracted. You can get all of these motherfuckers out of office. Voting these people out of office does matter. And 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 just to just to add to that, before we get to any positives, um, understand that uh, Kenneth Walker's attorney has come out. I, I was I was listening to him today, and has said that. Um, so, what you know, the the one sort of co corroborative uh, evidence, and I'm gonna put that in air quotes for those who can't see it if you're just listening uh, on a yeah. podcast uh, right now. Um, but that's in air quotes in terms of evidence. Uh, Daniel Cameron slash uh, Kun, Kunrin. <laughs> I, I Kunrin. Would be yes, the, that's his would, new would name from now on. Way to say it. Daniel Kunrin. Uh, D. Kuhn. Um, he, uh, you know, one of the things he stated today was just that uh, they, they uh, had no evidence of, uh, you know, sort of misconduct from... These these other two officers, uh, the right. one is being charged with this, but you know th that this was just a bit of evidence that they were able able to present. Uh, one thing I saw, uh, you know, good friend of mine uh, from from college days, uh, Laura Coates, uh, CNN legal analyst, uh, she pointed out that a as a former prosecutor herself on a federal level, that the 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 grand jury doesn't decide. I saw that. What, yeah. what, you, you, what, what the evidence is. You present what you the present. Case. What you, you what, present whatever you case. present, it's on you. You're like, yeah. this is the case, right? So he could have, he could have potentially uh, brought about, but he he stuck to the law. Again, I'm I'm using air quotes uh, for that, and uh, and you know that that that's sort of the the wave that they're riding on on that note. Um, is that this is a this according to Kentucky law? However, um, what I did hear um, uh, Kenneth Walker's attorney say is that actually, according to Kentucky law, third party victims are not uh, covered under that sort of self defense act. So right, so like just with the sort of a Rashard Brooks case. Yeah, his, Atlanta, I saw his lawyer. Yeah, you, you know where they where they shot kind of uh, indiscriminately into some vehicles that have passengers into them. Uh, you know, there, there was some indiscriminate fire that obviously beyond the walls that are being uh, upheld in, in the justice system that got holes in them. We're talking about the six holes that were put into Breonna Taylor. Um, and that's not covered under protect yourself. They're supposed to fire two shots and reassess. One shot was fired. Over thirty rounds were returned. And also, the the, the, the they said nationally the no knock warrants. There have been mistake after mistake after mistake, and this is not one that this is the one that got the attention because of activism and people getting out there and, and talking about it and remembering her name. But other than that, the motherfuckers, this real shit. The the, the motherfuckers been doing shit like this consistently and 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 someone said it i gotta scroll all the way back they said if that was reversed we always say this if this reversed those if it was black cops broke into somebody's house 
um, and knocked. And also they took the they, they took the word of one fucking witness one, that said one witness. They, they heard. That, that's Ten other thing or nine get. others said, no, we didn't hear anything. Yeah. One and they and that person changed his story or uh, changed the story on the third time on the third interview. Right. They got him on the first tape saying that he did not hear the police announce themselves. But on the third interview, he was like, oh, yeah, no, no, the police announced themselves, whatever. Right. So but the rest of the unit, I, I believe it's four units in that in a tight corridor. Uh, nobody else heard the police announcing them. Police heard some people heard banging and thought it was a domestic dispute. Um, nobody understood it to be a police uh, interaction until this uh, one witness, the one witness, and and, and, one. and he, he got challenged on that, uh, and he being, uh, and I'm sure this is who uh, RVA Gourmet said when he said he did the bare minimum. The he is D Daniel Coon Coonran Cameron was his given name, but um, the the Attorney General of, of Kentucky. He uh, he was challenged by, I believe, a New, a New York Times reporter uh, live at, at that news conference today. And, you know, she, she sort of asked about that. And, um, you know, he, he, he was just like, well, we, we, we had this, we did have this witness who confirmed and corroborated. And it made me think about the word corroboration, where it's like, it, you know, it's it's almost like, they, it it sounds like some arm twisting. You know what I mean? Yeah, it like, sounds like the way it, the, when we look at it now, I'm like, this corroboration was coerced and collaborated and catastrophed and all kind of other C right. words. And and it, it, it's it's the same old shit. So what we want everybody to do is make sure that we keep the word out there and keep this going from the standpoint of keeping pressure on it. But don't forget the goal is to get all these motherfuckers out of office and get some people that are going to make change. We got to hold them accountable. But at the end of the day, everybody knows, like, I knew it was coming. Well, I, I wasn't surprised. But they the fact it. that I wasn't surprised. I, I, and that's sad that I wasn't surprised. I should no, be like, hey, wait a minute. The, that's, that's the most painful up. part. That's the most painful part. Then I was just like, I knew they was going to pull this shit. And they pulled it for years and years and years and years. These people get off for this shit. It's obvious. It's so fucking obvious. And they said, and they, the main question is with the warrant. Why the fuck are y'all here? This is the wrong no. person. It's not no. wrong. Go no. like. That's the only hope we have. There is, and they tried to, they tried to is cover that, it up. They also did the shit where they said, well, your ex-boyfriend, he, uh, drugs. And that's all they tried to constantly... Blame so something of, on her to try to make it look like, well, it's obviously the black victim, but there's always a justification for shooting us. So I think the main thing is right now, these people out there protesting, somebody, you know, shot a cop or they said that a cop was shot. Um, there's, there's, you know, white nationalists down there antagonizing people. It's really getting fucked up. I told you it's going to turn into Lord of the Flies shit. It's going to be Hunger Games. The shit, every apocalyptic movie you've ever seen, this shit about to go down. Especially, yeah. and I looked at it from a different standpoint because I was watching MSNBC. If Trump wins, okay, it's going to be some shit. But well, if he loses, it's, it's gonna really going to be some, gonna some shit. Because I don't see them tiptoeing, I don't see him tiptoeing his way out of this power and this well, adulation that he, 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 he said, has to have. He said today, today out loud, he said, into microphones in front of the world, he was yeah. like, because one of the reporters asked him at, the, at his press rally today, um, would he, you know, guarantee a, uh, a peaceful transition of power? And he's like, well, you know, I can't speak on that. Um, you know, I'm a big, you know, you know, he's he's like, you know, I've been speaking out against the mail in ballots and, uh, you know, basically if if he was like, if the if if those ballots aren't if those ballots aren't counted, there won't be a transition of power. And, you know, that's a that's a crazy fascist that we've been th I've been throwing that word out there lately. Right. Like but that's a crazy fascist thing to say is like out loud to just admit like if I can just block these votes I, there won't be a trans I'll just be president again like that's how I'm going to win like I can't allow this to happen and I'm saying right. it out loud in front of all y'all because I don't give a fuck 
because I'm going to send these troops out to shoot y'all. Like, they literally just locked up the, the peaceful protesters who were just walking down the street in, to march in Louisville, right? They went from Jefferson Park, where they had been posted. Right. They, got the right. they started marching through the city, through downtown, and, and, and moving through, and police just formed a line. And and I've had uh, people tell me here, I believe you told me this too, Shang, that like what you do when you go out there is they'll, they'll block you off. They'll say you can't go in this direction. You turn in the other direction. It's another wall of police. And then it becomes a thing. And, that, and, and the shit we're seeing tonight, and we said there's a report of one cop shot, but they, they don't de-escalate. Right? Oh, right. no. They, they come, and, and, they, and there, was a, there was a group of um, paramilitary dressed white dudes walking out with full guns and camo and not a fucking word said to them. And also, a couple people making comments. Uh, pretty on the left, right said, um, said that three percenters were out there stirring today, stirring up some shit. Yeah. D Calico. D Calico always has, you know, an opinion to rock out with the Savage Nation. I get you. Uh, Trump is an actor. Calm down. I got it. Okay, I'll calm down. So I said calmly, the motherfucker is trying to take it over on some dictator shit. Was that me saying it calm enough for you, D. Calico? Come on, man. You already know what it is. But that's not the thing. The thing is, um, uh, uh, Joy Reid said it's it's basically a law that says black, li black lives don't matter. Black women don't matter. It don't matter what the fuck you say. This is what it is. This is what we're going to do. And that's it. Um... Okay, and somebody else, Miss Unique, said a cop got killed in Philly. Um, you know, hey, it's it, that you know, hey, that's part of the job. I'm sure that happens all the all the time. And no, and condolences to that family. But uh, RVA Gourmet, I'm gonna give a few shout outs here. Always in the building, um, right? She said, I know earlier she said we we should donate money to to Bitch McConnell's uh, opponent. You know, he has opposition right now, so. You know, if, you, if, if you're going to funnel money somewhere, that would not be a bad place. Uh, she also said they've been planning this for days. And I, I would add to those days and say uh, it'd be thousands of days, like for years, decades, centuries, right? Like this is part of the, the age old thing. It, you know, we, we talk about Nazism, but that was going on in America way before it got expressed in this way overtly in Germany, right? Like, it, se it seemed like such a bad thing to America because it was so overt. But now we're, be we're, we're walking right up to the, we're on the, pre we're like at the door, we're about to ring the doorbell of Nazism and get right back to it. But, but in this o really, really overt way again here, you know what I mean? Like, and so, I mean, yo, man, then why not? Oh, Lisa, what, you know, shout out to Lisa Tanker in the building. Um, D Calico, I, I, I feel you, but you know what I'm saying? That's uh, our USA it, property. That's what D Calico wow. said. I mean, that, well, that's, you know what? That, that's part of the over, uh, over, um, penalizing of us and, and uh, over imprisonment of, of black people right. is, the, the, the is prison, to keep yeah. slavery legal and going. Well, that's what the prison system is. The prison system is. That's what cops are. They were called nigger catchers. We get that. But at the end of the day is what uh, justice for Brianna. I mean, I just don't see it happening, even though it's obvious they need to make sure that the laws are changed and it's overturned. And it's the only way to fucking do it. That's the only way to do it is to get... Uh, and you know what? Uh, K Fields PR said that basically we need to motivate these millennials to get out there. We need to slam dunk a lot of these motherfuckers that's in office. A lot, a lot of these people run for office, sheriffs, DAs, and shit like that. We need to take them the fuck out. They're obviously corrupt. They're corrupt as shit. And this coontastic nigga that they had made me, I, I swear, Daniel another person, Cameron. I just wanted to run hands on this motherfucker. I'm like, and then they show pictures of him with his snowflake. He's standing there with the snowflake girl, and he saw, and he, and he was just—he's the epitome and of just. I didn't, he's like, ugh. He's like if OJ was a DA. It I was didn't just, even. Ugh. <laughs> I, I didn't even catch him at the RNC. So like, when I watched the press conference today, I didn't know that until the end, and I saw. No, I knew it. Yeah. So that you know that fucked me up, but uh, like R RVA Gourmet, she gets it. She, uh, you know, it's like. The eugenics movement, this whole race idea and superiority was really perpetuated highly here in America 
the Nazis learned that from this country. And now it's just boomerang right on back. And we're, and we're right back there. And this is what he's writing on. And, you know, for him today to just basically, to blatantly just be like, you know, I, I the, the way I'm going to win is by preventing these mail-in votes from going in. You know, right, and like, then I'm going to use the judges I implemented. I'm going to put the judges that I implemented into the shit, and then they're going to basically be the judges are, are going to be the ones that are going to give me the, the presidency. I'm going to steal the presidency. We get it. He's going to steal the presidency. But I think that, again, I feel like the whole situation, every day is some shit. Um, you know, with Ruth Bader Ginsburg passing was fucked up. Uh, you know, a friend of mine passed, and it just seems like every day something is fucking just constantly hitting us. So this isn't really the time for us to be as strong as possible and not fuck around. And we got to go. We got to go hard in the paint. This is the time you got to go hard in the paint. And I really do think that we have to start a petition, start something to overturn. Louisville needs to get some of these corrupt motherfuckers out. They obviously well, tried to well, cover it up. He, he, it was obvious. Up, yeah. And the two cops, too, they're all, all three of them need to be uh, and basically uh, yeah so before woo, before we yeah. before we before we jump from this b without ever forgetting it and and it will be a continued conversation uh i do think it needs to be understood that as much as we hate it um like the the actual cops who shot and killed uh Breonna Taylor like the two in question according to the, right. the the state's evidence um you know they they are justified under the law as fucked up as it is right um and weren't involved in the production of the search warrant the no knock warrant right that that brought the 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 forces those troops the stormtroopers uh, to to Kenneth Walker and Breonna Taylor's doorstep, um, right? So so but, but Pedro, so, did you know? So, so 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 the fight has to be, I think, to get to the detectives or whoever put together the, because we know that even the source, which they say is the postmaster general in that area, uh, or whoever runs the post office over there, you know, gave them testimony that they have, you know, said I didn't say that you know, have, have totally uh, contradicted uh, the police report on that. So this was a, a, a warrant that was, uh, you know, uh, granted un under, fal under false pretenses. Oh, yeah. And, and also, and, and man, so you have to know get that those individuals who get that. So go ahead. The Kenneth's lawyer um, actually said that even the ballistics was uh, was fudgy. Was you fudgy. know, so this he he might not know this is, right. Yeah, it's like right now, right, right now, I know I, I've been saying this. I've been on one. I'm going to basically be like they are They're out in the woods training, shooting barrel and arrows and ramboing it up. We need to rambo it up, buddy. We need to actually, I am so, but I know I can't get the gun legally. going to be real hard for me. So I'm going to have to go the other way. I know you say do it legally, but this shit is starting to be, they doing all Wait, the most so illegal there. shit in the world. Maybe it's time we do some grimy shit. No, no, Maybe no. it's time to get Wait grimy. Get Those cops that got shot, I'm sad for their families. My bad. Sorry. But you know what? We'll talk you know, about where it. are the good we cops? Go where are the good cops? Where the we're fuck are the good cops? We're going to so, talk about that. We're going to talk about that legal ownership towards the end of the show, but I'm going I'm to drop this seed that basically you'd be paying for a felony, so don't do that. Um, God damn it, man! I want. Oh, come on, man! Just one. That be saying. Do, so, that, does this sound fucked up? up? Does this sound fucked up? When I hear a cop got shot, it's hard for me to have empathy. Even the ones when I saw the video of the ones that get ambushed, and uh, LeBron, LeBron spoke out about the shit. He said, "Hey, when I see my kind constantly getting uh, unarmed, getting killed, what do you think I'm gonna say?" And the end of the day is when I hear a cop got shot, when I see that, uh, when I see when uh, pigmently challenged people or, you know, um, European Americans get the same treatment as us, I actually don't have too much empathy. I just go, welcome to our world, motherfucker. There was a meme that said, how do we punish Hitler? Put him there was a little girl that said it was a meme. I have to find it. She said, um, 
No, don't, you know how we punish him? Put him in black skin and let him live his whole life out. That's that's yeah. how bad it is I, you know, to be in in I'm, America in 2020 I'm, I'm, in motherfucking 2020. I get I get it. You you know I'm you know I'm anti meme. You're anti meme. I'm I'm anti meme in terms of the politics. So like I don't like. No no not politics. No, it, but she, I mean it's she, she was like, basically oh, saying. Living as a black person in this country, yeah, you, you're constantly, yeah, I know, you're constantly, we can't do shit. So, I mean, you want to punish, it was just saying, just the saying, saying, if you want to punish people, make, make one, you think that would, that'd be a punishment for uh, white folks if they were black and maybe they'd see things, but they're just not. It's getting worse and worse. And now I just think we need to go fucking gorilla. I just think we need to gorilla. We well, need to you know. some, you know. Chamber. Okay, I'm not gonna go there. No, that 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 doesn't make sense. To be honest, like you, you I should, know, I'm paying for well, I'm paying for a felony. We're gonna Fuck. we're gonna talk we're gonna talk about that later at the end. Stop um, with your logic, man. You better stop with that old logical, rational here, fucking thought. Here. You're getting on my nerves with that. With well, we're gonna end that sensibility. We're gonna end the show that. We're gonna God damn with you, sensible, you sensible motherfucker, you Sorry, man. with your sensibility. I, mean, I gotta do it, but uh, Savage. God AF, damn it. Um. So some shit that didn't make sense today was watching literally two doctors, Rand, Rand Paul, Senator. He's Rand, an Rand eye Paul, doctor. Get the fuck out of here. He's not a doctor. It's a med school thing. You got, it's a doctor. It's a doctor. But uh, he's not a virologist. Uh, trying to go back and forth with uh, Dr. Fauci today um, on the on – the, so, you know, Fauci, Robert Redfield, Stephen Hahn, you know, these are the guys who are head of the uh, uh, NHS, uh, CDC, and uh, FDA, uh, respectively. And, uh, yeah, th this is one of those things, man. Um, Dr. Fauci today was about as gangster as I've seen him in, in this pandemic. Like, right. R Rand Paul <laughs> was trying to say that you know, why should we praise New York when they had the highest death toll in the world? And, you know, Fauci was pushing back like, well, no, you don't understand and you're not listening to the director of the CDC. And then somebody tried to interrupt him and Fauci literally gave them the hand, right? Was like, no, let me do this because Senator Rand, he didn't even call him by his last name. He just called him Senator Rand. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Could you imagine you would just call her Senator Nancy? Shut up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, he was like Senator Rand. He was like, yeah, shut the fuck he does, up. He was like, he does this a lot, and I need to do this. And he was like, you know, like, and and really, really set him straight, almost on some like crap talk shit. Like, like, bruh, like you are not listening. New York got hit hard. Then they listened to us. And then they turned this shit around. They did the mask. They did the distancing. They did the outside right. instead of the indoor. They did all of that shit. And then it got better. <laughs> but you're trying to sit here and just act like some other... He, like, Fauci was literally like, bro, I'll slap you, dog. <laughs> like, I will. You know what he did? I know, you know, I, know I can't you throw didn't see baseball, the, but I can throw... You didn't see him take his time to like this? Oh, is this what the fuck like, we're doing? This motherfucker oh, okay. This this what, hey, this when he took his doing. watch off, I knew some bro. shit was popping off. When he took his no. watch off, like, okay, motherfucker, how about this? He, Let me no, take this Rolex this. off and bitch, bitch you up. It he was, did, hey, I'm he did glad. hand over here, but maintain eye contact with, with Senator Rand. He was like, no, let me do this. Okay, so first of all, you always do this shit. And I'd be like, don't do this shit. So why you want to do this shit? Like, so like, if you want to do this shit, shit. he was savage. You know what? We should have Fauci on here. We got Fauci to come on here and be savage because it would be that was the most savage I've seen him. He actually went in the paint on that one. And it was just funny watching how people responded. Even uh, Rand was like, well, oh, my, oh, my God, you're so aggressive. He, it was, he got bitched. He got bitched, man. And Fauci needs to do that more because he was supposed to be, he because wasn't at the White House for the fucking here's the thing. A press rally. Here's the You notice that thing. Fauci's not even in the mix no more with the White House. They oh, no, kind of no, just. No. And, and, oh, we about to get into that. But here, here was the ultimate check between Fauci and, and, you know, because, you know, 
even even Redfield, you know, he got he he was being questioned on on the the flip flopping and the CDC policies, and, and he was shaky on that. And, and you know, Stephen Hahn is it hasn't been the strongest uh, scientist un, under this administration in terms of his voice. But because he but, got bitched up, he bitches up but, too. They, yeah, yeah. They, but, they, but, Fauci, but Fauci, but uh, Fauci, he he has stood strong, and ultimately. When Rand Paul tried to then recheck, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because these yeah. motherfuckers, they, they think they know so much shit. Like, you know, and this is, this is one of the amazing things to me during this pandemic is how, like, everybody's a doctor now. Like, motherfuckers who are trainers and nutritionists are like, well, you know how your cells work. Well, you know, all you need is barley. All you need is a uh, germ grass. All you need is a uh, cherry wheat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this, Listen, what the fuck I, is cherry You know cherry what I heard? Wheat? This is what, yeah, well, put yeah, words together. they make up shit. I heard that if you lick a cat's asshole, it'll, it'll cure you. You know, And a lot of times people don't realize that. You just, Camel it's like sweat. a battery. Camel you, you lick a cat. <laughs> right. It's just, it's bullshit. And I mean, no. so the bottom line is, now, um, but, but no, no. So, so like, so like Rand Paul, yeah, doctor, eye doctor, tries to check Fauci and say, well, maybe it's because, maybe New York did so well because they reached uh, herd immunity. Because, you know, everybody got infected and they, you know, but then it then went up again. Did and you he see? was like, bitch, he was like, New York reached 22% uh, infection rate, uh, <laughs> which is well below the 80%, which would be projected nationwide that you would need, you know, on average. Um, and he was like, so obviously, if, if, well, he didn't say obviously. What he really said is that um, if you think that 22% is herd immunity, I think you would be alone in that opinion. It's, it's right. not verbatim. And then, but and the, then at the end of it, he called him. He said, he said, motherfucker. He said, you'd be alone <laughs> in that motherfucker. Shit, no. And then yeah. this is the wild shit. I, didn't, I don't know if y'all saw the outtake of the one. Y'all didn't see the one I saw. I saw the first one before they edited it. He Sorry. said, and check this out. You interrupt me again while I'm up here speaking. I'm going to see you in these streets. Hands. I was like, oh, Fauci. Yeah. And then Fauci went, da 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 da. <laughs> it's the it's motherfucking. The motherfucking. I'm, a, I'm a real motherfucking DOC. <laughs> it was just, yeah, it, exactly, man. It's just, I see so many people trying to throw their two cents in from the standpoint of anything that, especially, especially no, specifically the Republicans. It, the Trump said he was a fuck knows more than the doctors. That's that's the crazy shit. He said he more knows more than the doctors. He, he said Fauci's well, a nice guy, but uh, maybe he doesn't know what I he's don't talking think he's about. Right. No I don't motherfucker, think he's you don't know right. what you're talking about. I don't think he's yeah, right. so I hope Fauci keeps going hard in the paint. We got forty something days, you know, until maybe maybe Trump's out. But I'm telling you right now, he needs to speak out. So maybe we get a pocket of people that are progressives that are on the fence that can go out and vote. Now, I know people like vote don't mean shit. My vote don't mean shit. I get that. A lot of people, I understand you. I just think you're fucking wrong. Uh, that's that's it. The scientists do know more than us. It's as simple as that. When you try to say it, it doesn't matter. And Fauci, finally, I, finally, not finally, he said it before, but I've never seen him like today. You know, the clap back. The clap so, back, to hold the gun sideways. Yeah, yeah. That's what he did today. He held the gun sideways. That's not so, a good way to shoot, I heard. No, nope, that's, that's, that's not, not a good Not necessarily. El Noop, El Noop said, just burn down the stations uh, like they did in Minnesota. And, I, and I'm going backwards on the subject. But I just want to say that, like, they, they're ahead of that, right? Like, they started boarding up the federal buildings in Louisville, like, yesterday, day before. They knew what they were about to tell y'all, and they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna let that happen again. So that that right. that's why the that's why the police blocked off shit. No matter where they were going tonight, no matter how peaceful they were trying to be, they were always gonna be out in force. Um, the police were like, gonna make like, sure that they started some shit. And just like trying to block, um, just just like they're trying to block. Lee Calico, why do you bring up the viewers? Why do you bring up the numbers, man? At the end of the day, we do what we're doing, and, and man, and it's like if people want to get down with us. Cool, I got it. But when people do that little that shit, like ah, you ain't this, you ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not like we're not kicking the facts and saying what it is. Sometimes numbers are deceptive that what's really real and what's really not real. So you know what I'm saying? And and in the real world, um, the the calico, believe it or not, other than my pudgy face, I got weight. 
So I don't know why you feel you need to put that in there as a, a disclaimer of what the fuck we're saying. And anybody that continues to do that shit, um, to I'm me, not, that's like, yo, ain't nobody, ain't nobody motherfucking ask you. Ain't nobody ask you about that. We talk I'm about this. That. That's like we talk about Brianna and you start bringing up the fucking 49ers. Ain't nobody talk about that shit. We talk about this shit. So I, I get what you're saying, but that ain't really the fucking point. That, that might be Rand Paul right there, just bringing up shit. That yeah, that just, that's, that's, that that, be, I get that silly when, when people do that shit. Yeah, you might, it, um, it might be. I know, might, I need might. to calm down, man. You know, D, D Calico, you right, man. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, man. It's just this whole thing, this whole, the whole situation nice. got me a little uh, debobbled. So speaking of debobbled, which I'm not sure of the word, but we'll just add it to the to the uh, Saturday. Is that the, it's a, the bobble's a word, and you tell D Calico I made up the word debobble. So yeah. fuck with me, debobble. So, so um, Dr. Burtz, Dr. Deborah Burtz, um, you know the one who took over for Dr. Fauci when his voice was no longer wanted on the uh, coronavirus task force. Which essentially because he went against Trump too many times, yeah. Um, and uh, you know she she was a little more lenient. Well, you know now she she's been uh, pushed out, like you said earlier today, Shang. Uh, we didn't see her or Fauci or uh, anybody who I think could uh, you know read, <laughs> say shit, or even be in the room. Uh, Dr. Scott Atlas, again, doctor, uh, being neuroradiologist, Scott Atlas. Yeah, but uh, you know what? I, you know, a lot, he'll bring in a proctologist, a, a proctologist is like, how the fuck you stick your finger in people's ass? How you, you gonna talk like, about the pandemic? Things aren't shitty as they seem, and I use two fingers. <laughs> and it's like, that's I know my finger's been in people's asses all day, but I know what I'm talking about. He's you, like, and I'm a thumb. I, I do the thumb, too. It's like, no. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, By the way, so, some ladies like that shit. And yeah, that, I, ladies do, yeah. But if you're a proctologist for a fella, no. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Burks, she is, uh, you know, talking about reportedly, allegedly, sources. I'm using quotes. Did you say the reportedly, allegedly, suspectedly, we the bobbly? Heard yeah, mouth. that's the fucking word. The bobbly. He, every definition, the she felt wishy-washy. She That's is, the she word. Is feeling slippy sloppy about it. Uh, funky cold. There you go. The slippy building. sloppy. That's my sister. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, she. Sorry, Deborah Burks is. Uh, she's feeling some kind of way about being replaced by a neuroradiologist when she's an epidemiologist, virologist, you know, pandemic germ specialist. Uh, much like Dr. Fauci. And, you know, I'm sure Fauci's sitting back somewhere in a recliner like, I tried to tell you with this motherfucker. Like, <laughs> smoking a cigar. Yeah. Right here, smoking a blunt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I they told you, niggas. They don't want to listen to you. That you pass that <laughs> shit, motherfucker, until they motherfucking said that. The, yeah, he, it was, you know, this it was, was like so obvious. It's like, babe, like, listen, you, you didn't know who you're working for. So now, now she's upset about her role and what's going on, and it's become scary now. It's like, it wasn't scary on bleach day, on bleach in your lungs, <laughs> disinfecting. Drink, yeah, your and day, using light light shooting light up your ass, ass day. day. Yeah, like on, like, on sun rays <laughs> inside your nutsack day. You were you were like, well, he just likes to talk out loud, think out loud. Hey, you, you should have left that day, or you should have been like, he's crazy. <laughs> if he beat you he, the he first got, couple like, times, you should have ran out that room like he's right. crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> he holding me. He hit right me. Help Let me, me tell you something. Me. Women are okay. This is where women get mad at me, I, and I'm just saying this. It's it's a metaphor for what you do. If he hits you the first time over some egos in the morning. Most likely that nigga's gonna hit you again. There's a very good chance he's gonna be it's gonna something gonna set him off. Oh, you just gonna turn from girlfriends. And and you know what I'm saying? He's that type of <laughs> motherfucker. As soon as Trump nigga said like, some crazy shit like that, you should have been like, hey, I got I gotta go. I have to go. And you should have bounced. But so she deserves that shit. Plus, I saw her flip flop a few times trying to, you know, appease know. She, King Trump in her eyes. And I was like, tried, Bitch, she tried she saw what happened to, to She Friday. deserves it. Yeah. She saw what happened to Fauci. She tried to 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 ride it out and 
And you know, I get, I honestly, I'm gonna be honest. I get the the base thought, which is, I have a legitimate voice that is scientific that I that needs to be heard. And and if she could have just spoke that truth, her voice would have been fantastic, right? But like, she was like, but I also have to kind of find a way to dance and stay in here, or my voice won't be heard. And I get that ill logic. Uh, I don't know no, about no, that, Pedro. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, that's where she was. I don't, I'm not defending it. I'm just saying, like, that. But, I get it, but she as still a should scientist, have As a scientist, you got to be Fauci with it. You can't be like, well, maybe I can stay here and try to, and maybe convince, like, no. You're dealing with a psychopath, raccoon-minded, muskrat-eating, jackal fuck. Why the fuck would you bend your scientific credentials towards that at all in any way? It will never. But the CDC bent. No, the CDC even did a couple flip flops. If you look at a lot of the scientists, they do flip flops because the White House was pressuring them. But at the end of the day, as soon as he said the bleach shit, as a scientist, you should have been like, first off, I'm gonna go on every news channel and say this some bullshit. Don't drink no bleach, motherfuckers. By the way, exactly. It'd have been like he this. He was talking It'd have been like this. It'd have been exit stage left. I would have been even. She, bro, it, like he was talking directly to her in front of the world when he asked that question. He was like, "And maybe there's a way we can, you know, get it to." Like he was looking to his right. You know, he was like, "And maybe we can get it to." you know, inside the body, like, you know. Right, if they drink a little bit of bleach, like a, and then like it'll clean out the body. And she was yeah. like, oh, no, not, I don't know of any um, studies Yeah, like but that. you know what? Well, she should have been it's... like, she should have just like, does anybody have any water? Find it, take a sip, and be like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> she should have waited she for a should've... spit take. Like, a whole spit yes. take was that like, what? <laughs> What the fuck? What? <laughs> Bitch, I almost drowned. Like, no. So, like, when, and then the next day, she tried to qualify it by, like, saying that, you know, uh, he just likes to think things through out loud. And it's just like, yo, that's a really foul and stupid way for the leader of the free world to think. Right. Not only I, inside I his head, that. but then out loud as well. Like, to let the thought go from brain meat to lip meat and let it actually form phonemes that say stupid right. shit. It's like, why would you, if, if we have a leader that can't chop that off at, at, at the back of your tongue, like if your throat starts to vibrate toward, toward you're supposed can, to stop right can here. We, can we put bleach in bodies? Like at the can, you should be like, never mind. I was going to say something but, else. But, 